What's that? Cuckoo clock? Many years, this is a cuckoo clock. So I'm with Oscar Lobo, a retired chief engineer on board the ship whose hobby is repairing clocks. Show us, Oscar, tell us. Yeah, well, I, uh, my, uh, my passion is uh, clocks. Yeah. Re refurbishing and restoration of antique clocks. Antique? Antique clocks. I don't do small wristwatches and all. Yeah. So I do only antique clocks. And so far, I've done about 65 in Goa since wow. I've come. And this hobby has been going on for how long? This hobby has been going on for the past, uh, you can say, 10 years. Wow. 10 years. That looks very uh, fascinating. What's that? Can that's, we just... No, that's uh, when I used to sail on ships, yeah. steamships and all that. I used to do a collection of things that I wanted. Like? I'll explain to you. Yeah. I'll explain to you. See, this, this is, this, this is, uh, a, I made it into a bar, but now it is just a showpiece. Okay. This is the door of the sauna of okay. the ship. Okay. And I made it as a tabletop. <laughs> this is the first telephone that was st started. So it used to, they used to blow from the engine room and then you talk back. Listen I see. And talk back. Listen and I talk see. back. Yeah. So this Where's the other end of it? Other end is in the engine room. This is on okay. the bridge. Okay. As, as of now, you have only one end. Yes, so we so can't taste it. No. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you blow, the air comes and it the sound, blows. the sound yeah. comes. Then you listen to what they are saying and then you talk back. What is the principle here? Nothing, just pipes? Just pipes, nothing. Okay, five o'clock. Dancers go round, see? Dancers go round. See, that's a train that is going round there. Come here. It's a different type of... That's right. It'll, it'll, every hour it goes, every hour. Yeah. Every hour it goes? Every hour it goes. So if you're insomniac, like in the night, it's going to keep you awake? Yeah, no, I put it off. <laughs> you put it off. Oh, wow. That's a this, is this, is this is from where? This is from? This is from America. Oh. I got it on an auction. Wow. And I repaired it. Online on, auction? On uh, eBay. eBay. And I repaired it and got it going. Repaired it? Yes. Now this is a 1953 Kapu clock. Okay. Black Forest. Germany. Yeah, Germany. This also I got in an auction and got it repaired because the dancers were not going around. In places like Munich and all they have those things yes, going around yes, in the church, in the right. dorm, yeah. no? Cathedral. So this is 1953, this is 2010. This is my sister. Uh, from? From Black Forest. She's in Switzerland, my sister. Okay. And then this, this clock is made by me, completely. Made by you? Completely. It's a homemade clock. Even the cuckoo is made by me. I see. And these weights, if you see, they, you can see the graduations. Yeah. These are the dips of the tank. When you sound a tank, find out how much oil is yeah. in the tank on the ship. So I use them as the weights. Okay. So everything is made. And all those... Uh, from wealth to waste. From waste yeah. to wealth. Yes. And those flowers that are there, and the birds, my wife did it on the fretwork machine. I see. So then now this, now the other clock is going on. That clock is going now. Which one? This one. But the face is on okay, the other okay, side. Okay, 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 okay. Now this is a Swiss clock where you wind only once in a year. Wow. It's called the anniversary clock. My goodness. So once in a year you wind it and the whole winding is on the spring, the satoshian spring. Yeah. And the, those weights go round and that's how it works. I this see. is similar to somebody brought it from UK for me to repair. I see. So I've repaired it now. I've only set the speed. How did you get involved in this first? Uh, the first time I got involved with it, I went with Franklin Pereira, as I was telling you. See, now that's the <laughs> other one I'm making now. That wood you can see there? Yeah. Come from this side, you can see. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm making this of all different scrap parts. Oh, wow, wow. So I made it now. Now it's chiming everything. Again, I have to set the pendulum to get the time. Okay. Proper timing. So then I have to make the case. I'm Quite a precise art, no? Yes. And now I'm thinking of making a case, a transparent case, so you can see the whole thing going. 
So where did you learn your mechanical? I started in Larson and Tubro. I was in Larson and Tubro for six years. Apprenticeship? Uh, apprenticeship, mechanical. Then I was in research and development for electronics and wow. then in electrical. And then I went out to sea as a marine engineer. This is, uh, you started in the 70s or? 68. 68. 68. And... Uh, studied in where? Studied where? St. Michael's, Mahim. Mahim. Hmm. I see. Bombay boy. Bombay. And this clock is also made by me with all different parts assembled. Then this is a case of a sextant that I housed it in. The sextants are used for? For the sextant I used to bring the... Uh, the to get the position, the first positions. Yeah. I'll show you the sextant too. Okay. Uh, when Now the GPS gives you the position. There they bring the uh, sun down to the horizon and you get that triangle and you know your position. Otherwise, At noon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At noon? At noon. Then this thing... See, this is how I made it, made the clock. Wow. See, these are all welding, brazing rods. I see. I made that so it gives you the chime. I see. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> oh God. So all this is made by me, everything. Where's your workshop? Workshop, I got all over the workshop. So you can see a vice here. I see. You can see a vice outside. Down I got another workshop. Okay, okay. All that I've done. Uh, but this, this it I keeps you busy? It keeps you busy? Very busy. I'm more busy. Than when you were at work? Than when I was at work. I was the CEO for three companies there. Alpha Petroleum. Uh, then African Marine, she was a dry dock, and African Marine Oil and Gas. So I was the CEO of both those see. companies. I see. A lot and of responsibility yeah. during my spare time. Spare time on Sundays and all, I was very busy. <laughs> so that is the thing. This is a telescope where I for the hearing of the beat of the clock. Oh wow! So you can get the beat with this. So you're like a clock so doctor. You know, yes. So you know what. It's very precise, no? It cannot yes, afford yes. to be uh, yeah, you wrong. You have to get the, the sound correct. And the timing. Yes, and the timing. Yeah. Then, as I was telling you this thing now. Here. This, now they, when you put the GPS on, you get the speed of the ship. You can get the speed, how you drive yeah. the car's speed. This is the first speedometer on the ship. Wow. Works on? It, it, this you throw in the water. Yeah. And it spins. Oh gosh. And gives you the... Speed. That's reading. Yes. So this is long normally? This is long and it's a, it's a swivel. So as you go, it, it turns here. I see. So it doesn't get knotted. Okay. okay and it okay, gives okay. you the okay. speed. Wow. It's a log. Log line what they call it. Yeah. Now this is... This is... Uh, the, the bridge to engine room command. Supposing they want this ship to go ahead. Yeah. Then... You just, you pull. Okay. You can go astern or go ahead. Okay. And then down you get in the engine room, you control it. I see. Because... He cannot see down. No, he cannot see down. Yeah. It's many about three floors down. Yeah. So they give these things from the bridge. So this is used in which year more or less? Pardon, this is in... This was 1933 or so. Wow. Then this is a steering wheel. Old yeah. One. This yeah. is a compass. Sorry? This is the compass. Okay. Inside. Really? Why so big in those days? Those days it was big. So you stand here on the wheel yeah. and you look at the position how you are taking the ship in. It's not automatic like now. Okay. Now everything is automatic. Fixed. Yeah. Fixed. And these two uh, this steel balls at the side, they are for the magnetic field. So you, uh, you, adjust, the, you adjust that to get the compass correct wow. for the correction. The steel goes are for the magnetic field yes, in a sense? Yes, the magnetic field of the compass. Okay. Some, sometimes the compass goes out because this is always the magnetic yeah. field. So yeah. adjust that in or out okay. to get it correct. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Then, uh, this is a clinometer. You have a full museum here? Yeah. <laughs> this is a clinometer that gives you the list of the ship. Okay. On this side. Filting. Uh, Filting. Listing, yeah. Then they fill up the ballast. You know. I see. Then, this is the... This is for the wind. Wow. For the wind speed. Okay. See, it, it turns yeah. and it gives you the. It is. And a, it gives you the speed of the wind. What they call a girgire. Mano, manometer. Yeah. Hmm. 
It's screwed on top of some yes, houses. Yes, so, yeah. yes. Here it's measuring it. Yes. This is actually screwed onto the wing of the bridge. So all these have to be kept in a great state of uh, repair yes, and oil yes. and maintain them. Yeah. And this is a ship's clock. Why ships? It's, it's because of the, the... It's made for the ship. Okay. It's made very rugged and all. They okay. can take all the beating. I see. That is also a ship's clock, but that is a special clock which gives you, during the, during the red, red uh, uh, yeah. list, you cannot send any any messages on the most card because that's a uh, time when you can uh, distress signals can be heard okay so that's a silence period okay the red and the green and the green is, is just normal nothing okay. in particular then this is a barometer yeah so you see the you pressure see all the pressure. Yeah, pressure and you know when it's going to rain and so all predictions that. you get yes 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 Quite good. Based on Quite the pressure? Good. Yes. Even here? Yes, even here. So like what's your reading for today? No, today is not going to be, there's not going to be rain until maybe tonight or something. Why? Because you can see the pressure starts dropping, you know. That black hand starts going down. I see. Oh, wow. This is a company that did a dry dock that I worked in, African Union. So the barometer can be used today also to predict? Yes, 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 yes. You get electronic yeah. ones? Yeah, you get, you get electronic of course. I now. see. Now these are all these are all manual by uh, atmospheric pressure. Yeah, manual. Yeah. Then that is I used to give talks to the Kenya Navy. Okay. And they presented me with this. I see. Wow. National Defence College. Yes. So they That's should come and I used to give them talks in the tribe. These are knots. These are knots. Yeah, the different type of knots. In those days. Yes. Which we learned in scouting Scout, also. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Beautifully then presented. This is another creation of mine. <laughs> so oh God! All <laughs> so like that. Then uh, this is called the Napoleon hat clock. Why? It's because it's the shape of a hat. This hat. is a, mainly in East Africa. You used to get these clocks. I see. This is a biograph. It gives you when there are going to be a storm or it'll, anything. It'll record it and keep yes, on paper. But this is, yeah, this is the point has gone. The stylus. Okay, okay. The stylus has gone. Then, uh, if you see, this is the first telephone that was on the, on the ship. And then you adjust which cabin you want to... You want to the, the what is the uh, arm for? This, this is to talk. Yeah, but the... the this is to... It's a dynamo. So, you don't need electricity for this. Then, this is, you know what? Yeah, Morse code. Did da da da. Yeah, yeah. So, you all had to know all that? Yes, yes, yes. This Even now, you could yes. date in this your sleep. This is in Scouts Wheeler. Yeah, yeah. And this is, after this, the faster one was... I see. See the light here. Oh, oh, oh. Is that connected? Yeah, I have done this connection. Okay. Here I said everything is working. I'm the only one not working. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the contrary. <laughs> then... This is the same thing like the Morse code, but it is actually semaphore flags. No, no, it is it is the flares. No, it is light signal. I see. I see. I see. The they did it. Yeah, they did it, but light. So right. from the ship you can tell the port authorities that your ship has come and need a pilot or whatever. How far? Quite almost about uh, six, seven miles. You can really? see the light. Yeah. Really? Then this is uh, this is what I was telling you about. This is a sextant. Okay. To this locate a, your place. Yes, position. Yeah. W. -L no, these are all the keys of my clock. Yeah. Uh, German, German. This is uh, English. English. This is English. I see. So these are all for the ship part of it. Yeah. Many of them. Then I've done of my first ship that I took from from uh, Kent, yeah. to Mombasa. That's the wheel of the ship. Wow. I made it into a table. Oh wow! Really nostalgic, yeah. And at the bottom is the name of a tug. So I ha, made ha, that ha, as a base. Ha, ha, ha. So was it difficult to get these or did people no, not no, no, appreciate? No, the ships as they were being scrapped as to collect and keep. No one wanted it? No one wanted it. I was to go to the scrapyard. Yeah. You so were one guy who understood cool. the value. 
So I have to take keep all these things. Amazing. There's a museum in here. Yeah. <laughs> and like that there are many that I made these big signs I make okay. during my spare time. Very, so, very sonorous in that sense, very nice sound you get from them. Yes. This is a crop that was in Africa where I went last year to Kenya. It had fallen down into pieces. So they told me to take it. It's a Smith's clock. So I repaired it and I made the case out of another equipment of the ship. And this design you know, Fadima did on the computer. She does graphics okay. on the computer. Okay. Amazing. So this is another. Now this is a Gustav Becker anniversary clock. We got a flat pendulum. Now I'm still trying to adjust the time on this. Why anniversary? And once in a year you once wind it. Once in a year. Yes, you wind it once in a year. And what's this? This is a, a solar system. Have all the planets going around the sun. Okay. But it's magnetic, you know. One is electronic, ele electric, electromagnet, and one yes. is permanent magnet. So it, it doesn't need any power. It, the power is on that electromagnetic I batteries. I see. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. So this is, this clock is someone it was alive for 40 years in uh, Margao and then they wanted to scrap it. Yeah. So I took it and I got it going. It's a Gustav Becker clock. Now German, Austrian way? German. German. And all those things are all broken. I put pins and kept the line holding there on top. Is Goa a good place to get old clocks? Uh, well, a lot of old clocks here, but in East Africa too many. I see. In fact, as I was telling you how I started uh, repairing clocks, I went with Franklin Pereira to a bar, which is now more than 100 years old. AC D'Souza's bar. The Goan bar. I've, Goan I've bar. seen that yes. video on it. Yeah. That clock where they show you there. Yeah, yeah. not working for almost 20, 30 years. Okay. So I saw it there and I told them, why are you keeping it? They put it in my car. Let me see what I can do. And I got it repaired and put it. So all the patrons who used to patronize that bar were so happy only to hear it chime. I see. So they were. That's the first clock. I've I seen. Did. I've seen a video on yes. on that bar. Yeah, that's the first clock I started. Which year? Um, about 15 years ago. How Ten difficult is it to shift from mechanical into clocks? Because clocks no, is a specialization. No, I do mechanical clocks only. I okay. don't do. Okay. Electronic. electronic clocks. No, only mechanical. So the principles are the same in clocks or any well, other? I, to me, my my motto is that anything can be repaired. If it's fixed, put together, it can be, can be repaired. repaired. And the parts I make. You make? I make. So many parts I make. I got all my uh, very fine equipment where I can use piles and all that. Dinar has seen all that. I see. I see. And I do all that sort of wow. thing. And I make parts and get them going. What's the pro future of clock repairing as a career? Because a lot of people are moving out of it. Very hard to get clocks repaired. You know, in fact, in Goa, most of them are dead. Those who repair clocks. I think I am one of the... Last survivors. Last survivors. So, everybody who has been giving to some Orlando or something for repairs, is dead. Okay. So, they bring their clocks okay. here. Now, for... I don't know whether you know uh, Carlos Tavaro from Nautara. Yeah. I've done 12 clocks for him. He brought, started bringing all his clocks here. I see. And I have done all his clocks and that clock there, you can see that one on the... There. Yeah, 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 yeah. That clock is a nine foot high... That big one? ...grandfather's clock. And this is just the innards of it? Yeah, this is the inner of it because he's taken the case for vanishing. His <laughs> clock had fallen down and broken. Okay. Everything was bent. So now I'm getting it going. I've got it going now. How old? Sticking. How old? Ah, this may be about 100 years old. My God, yeah. This is also a gong from the ship. Gong? Gong means yes. Dinner gong? It's not dinner gong. It's a, it's a like a when the alarm. So you, as the ship is going in, there's a fog. You yeah. This. this is one of the first. One it can be heard high. far, very far. Pardon? It can be heard very, very far. far. In fact, really? Anima calls me. Yeah, fascinating. Then the, the next, uh, this is my stained glass paintings I do. I see. I you do also do stained glass? glass. Yes, that's also my hobby. Very little stained all glass the, happening in Goa, no? Yeah, all the stained glass. Okay. All this stained glass. 
Why? How come there's so little stained glass in Goa while in British India? I'm former? surprised. In Kenya, a lot of stained glass. But the Brits... People come from out to do it. So they also have done a lot and I've given my friends before coming down. I, I gave everyone... Time-consuming work, no? Yeah, time-consuming. And these altar lights... What's the raw material? Uh, raw material, I get the lead. There's lead, liquid lead and lead liners, which I get from out. Okay. But liquid lead you can get here. See this altar light right here. I see. Even for my chapel here in Goa, I've done one. Piratsana? Yeah, Piratsana. Holy Cross Chapel. Yeah. I made altar lights for them. Even these lights for candles I made. I see. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Then on the sh uh, this uh, ship used to... I'll show you. Amazing. See, this is a Spanish cloth. Which one? This one. This one? Yes. This is a Spanish cloth. Yeah. This also was broken down. My sister-in-law in Canada, she sent it to me. Which is the, which countries are the best in clock making? Of course, the Swiss, Germans. Germans and English. Not the Swiss? Uh, no, Swiss is for small clocks, okay. you know. Rolex and all those sort of things. And this is a steam whistle of a steam ship. Steam whistle? Of a steam ship. It uses steam to wow. flow. And this is... For sound? For sound? Yeah, for sound. This is a fog horn. Yeah. This is also to keep the ships away when there's a fog. Yeah. So, so they, they don't bang into yeah, each other. So, don't bang. so this is how you. It keep travels it. far. Yeah. Tra before that it was a gong, and now came this. Thing. Okay. Fog horn. Fog yeah, horn. We've fog only heard of them. I've never seen one. So these are all the things that I have collected down in your museum. Years. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And the rest of the things in every port that I visited, I bought something like that from Mauritius. Okay. That ship. Okay. Created by whom? It's made by some, it's a factory there that makes these. Mauritius? Mauritius. Good, yeah. Good, yeah. And even that one is very, a, very artistic. A cross section of a, of a ship. Where you can see if the ship is cut into half, oh, you see what gosh. is inside the hole. Old ship? Yeah, old ship. Sailing ship. This is from? This is also from Mauritius. Mauritius. They have a strong maritime yes. tradition, I guess. They. Then that is from uh, China. Okay. Buddha. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this Very is nice. from uh, Thailand and from Indonesia. Yeah, and this ivory? This is, yeah, this is uh, horns of a cow. Cow. Then these are also from Singapore and Indonesia. Okay, 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 okay. Then even that is from Maputo, that uh, egg, ostrich egg on top there. It's a real ostrich yeah, egg? Yes, a real ostrich egg. Painted? Yes, it's paint, screen painted. Mozambique? Yeah. Wow. So these are all the different things that as I was saying, there's another egg there. One is from South Africa. Okay. And one is from, one is from Maputo. Yes. See here? My that's from Maputo, South Africa. Gosh. Amazing. Amazing. So that's the way I used to come. There's a full museum in, in here, Oscar. <laughs> maybe well, maybe you should you should give a talk on on it. Well somebody wanted me to uh, talk on this thing, uh, one priest. So I said you can bring the Yeah, because they have to see it. Mm, that's the thing, yes. no, it's not or maybe if you do it online then it could be captured. Nice, lovely. So this is most of the stuff. Keep it up, great hobby. Fantastic. Another, another thing is my, I like my music. So I have my Bose systems okay. with all this music, very, very old music, Billy Wong and, okay. you know, that's all. Our, our, our generation. Yeah, our generation, exactly. I don't know how old you are, but I am 73 yeah. now. Okay. He's a yeah. Ah, he's yeah, a yeah, 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 so you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, Gonzaga was younger.